There we go. That's all I needed. So it's like, and it has a tiny brain, meaning it's actually smarter than the average cell. So we're on the path to sentience, and from now on I think I'll end up using the uh, mouse a lot more. So congratulations, when it comes to swimming in sludge, you rule the pool. When you are ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button, which is right here. So you advance your creature, so as whenever you advance, or at least whenever you feel like it, you can actually check your, your cell. I mean, more like your species, but you can see... Um, I should be able to go backwards. Not right now. But as you can see, uh, we're carnivore. Uh, so we get a little, a bunch of different effects for each one. So for creature, we get roar. For tribal, we get traps. Carnivore, or for civilization, we get invulnerability. Ah, invulnerability. And for space, we get power monger. Pretty neat. So you can be carnivore and get all the way back up to herbivore if you really try. But it's not very easy. So... For the most part, try to stick in one of the three, um, herbivore, carnivore, or herbivore, and go from there. But once you think you're ready, you could actually, what is this? Oh, do stuff in 3D now. What is that? I'm not going to describe all the controls, but you could sort of see as it goes on, like, what? And then there's a spine. Oh. So now, uh, you can see these things actually have different effects. So his mouth it lets him bite. I think these might let him charge? But I don't know. I'm just going to take him off, though. I, I think that one let him dance. Oh, wait, that one let him jump. Holy... No, I, I need that one. Oh, here we go. Sprint. Uh, you jump. So I'm going to have a little bit of this going on. Um, sneak. Um, charm. Spit. I'm going to go with a little bit of this. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, sorry. Uh, whoa. That's what happens when you don't have it perfectly symmetrical. And we could actually put on arms later on, but not yet. Yes, it is very silly, I know. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. So now, we grow legs! And I like this, actually. It goes straight into him swimming up! So the Boxian race is getting better. We are now a creature, instead of just being what we were before, which was just a cell. Uh, so... I hope my recording software isn't glitching up, because I think it might be. But hopefully you're seeing everything good. So, there you go, right here. You can see I have Pogo from DPG Sam. That's me. Um, that's the name of the account I'm on. So, we might end up seeing my own guy appear, which is pretty neat. So, our little Boxian uh, actually has a bunch of other others follow him. And we're finally a creature. We have made it out of the water, and we have evolved into the point where we can make nests and fight and get pieces and whatnot. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs and your new home. Dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Welcome to land. Uh, you're a creature surrounded by nest mates. To evolve, you will need to meet the other species of the planet, earn DNA, earning DNA, moves a progress bar... Uh, it shows your progress, uh, there's objectives, so, as the goal suggests, food is critical to survive, and that's how it works. So now the controls are, again, very different, uh, we could do a bunch of stuff, and, uh, we could do jumping and stuff, and we could do a roar, and whatnot, so, uh, there's actually a dead thing right here, so I could actually right-click it, left-click it, <laughs> one of the clicks, and we could eat it. Since we are a carnivore, we could eat stuff. Very cool. There is a thing right here. We can click that. Boom! What is that? You discovered a new part. It is an arm. Wait, that's the wrong one. Mating call. And then you want to mate with them. And they do a little dance. Make a little love. And they get down tonight. <laughs> and they actually make a cell. Um, For whatever reason, you're the one that always puts down the cell, but... I can do they're they're basically speed or er, genderless, so that's how it goes. Boop, an egg, and then it goes in 
to the creating. Oh man, I don't. Oh, we can't fit them on. Well, how much is this, uh sell for fifteen? I'm gonna do it. Oh wait, I don't need to do that at all. What? I actually sort of do. Shit. I don't need to spit. I'd rather take arms. Oh yeah. Also, I feel like they're a little bit. There we go. See, now I've made, I've gone from having a sort of weird looking creature to it looks sort of good and I can make him a little bit more muscular. Oh yeah, I'm a big man. <laughs> oh boy, that's my guy. And then, fuck, what the fuck? I'm sorry, tiny feet. Big face. <laughs> That's not efficient at all. Oh my god. Oh god. And then we're born. There we go. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, one second. Okay. <laughs> We got this creepy ass motherfucker called the Boxian. Um, so let's uh, travel the world a bit. Hello. So this little guy is another species. Do I want to make a friend or a foe? Uh, this. Sh no, stop it. Stop it. So this right here uh, shows that they are neutral to us. You can see right there neutral, happy, all that. I'm going to make them hate me. So uh, I'm going to bite them. So they're doing damage back, we're doing damage to them. We started it, so we should easily be able to kill them. You could also roar to uh, get an upper hand, because that basically, I think, uh, stuns them in a way. Not going to bother, though. So there we go. Well done. To the victor goes the spoils. You're on your way to a bigger brain and a smarter you. That is correct. Now we get to eat. You see, it gave us a little bit of DNA. So now with our arms, we actually grab at the body and we pull off chunks, which is pretty cool. Also, this looks like... It's not an English-speaking creature, a.k.a. An, an, it doesn't look like it's a creature from an English-speaking person, because it, it has like a Japanese name. It's like Alpha I don't know. Um, that's, that's probably racist, but I'm sorry. Um, whatever charge... Oh, there we go, charge. If you charge, you get a little bit more uh, attacks going on. Also, if you go after alphas, they're a little bit stronger. Um, they get a little bit more. You get a little bit more DNA from them. Uh, they actually will always give you a um, a part, some sort of part, which is very cool. So we got eyes from them, which lets our stuff look a little bit different. All right, I'm just gonna make sure I'm up to full. Good. And now all I gotta do is look after or find another one. I will show up for really quickly though. If you do try to eat. Um, plants, and you are a... or if you're not the correct type, he will puke it up. I think the same thing happens if you're a herbivore that goes after... Um, sorry, if, you, uh, if you're a herbivore and if you go after, um, like, meat, it's not gonna work. So, uh, they've come back to their own... Oh, he's singing to me! How dare you sing to me! So you get plenty of DNA from wiping out a species. It's a bit of a quest. You wipe out species by uh, killing a certain number of types that they tell you to. And once you do so, you will actually take over their nest. So the nest now becomes a healing spot for you, just how your nest is originally for you. Um, that way you can sort of spread your uh, dominance across the world. And uh, it's pretty neato. So we're going to just uh, head on over to... This next species over here, and I'm gonna wait until I get a couple more parts before I upgrade again. Uh, in Creature Stage, you're gonna be upgrading a crap ton, of course. Uh, so there's this uh, Physic Zigger from Lube 8. So yeah, we are seeing creatures from other people. I guess the cells we don't see as much. 
But this person wasn't, or this creature wasn't made by Maxis, so this is made from an actual person somewhere out there in the internet. Uh, from what I found with carnivore, you always want to take time to actually eat your food, or eat your uh, prey, I guess. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, yep. Charge. Whoa! <laughs> we went flying there. Um, the only time you don't want to try to eat your food is if the others are automatically going to attack you. Because a lot of time, at least early on, until you get to around about here, they don't really attack back too much because they're taking easy on you and they're not very uh, smart. But once they get smart, you can actually group up and each time you get you progress past a certain point, you can get one person in your sort of group, two people, three people, and then eventually gets to the point where it's uh, tribes. So I'm going to go after this alpha here. And I'll show off my... Ooh, he was stunned, wasn't he? I'll show off my roar right there. He attacks and just freaks out. So that lets me get in a couple more hits, uh, making it possible for me to win, because I think I might have lost without that. There we go. Perfect. So you can see right there, uh, it was in the background, the um, other... Fitziger, whatever it's called, actually disappeared. It just sort of poofed out of existence because we killed off their species. So yeah, in a way, we're going to be performing creature genocide for a while. Also right here, um, this is a case of creatures that aren't able to be attacked. They sort of are in their metamorphosis stage, like a butterfly of sorts. So for whatever reason, we just can't deal with them. We can't even touch them. So uh, let's go over here. Uh, there's Alpha Puppy. Oh, I have to kill the puppies, I'm sorry.